everyone, it's Tracy, and I am back talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is skincare. Uh, if you don't know, I am a advanced practitioner, licensed esthetician. I am a makeup artist, and I have run multiple med spas. And in those med spas, we would sell um, medical grade uh, skincare products. And Dermatology, I had, they asked me to review um, their needle of sermon. This was like uh, almost a year ago now. And I loved this. And then I started looking at their products. And now I personally use them every day, every day, every morning, and every night. And they had just sent me to review uh, the peptide night cream. And I am going to show you. I've been using it for about three weeks now. And if you can see how loved that is. And if you can see, too, how thick it is. I mean, this is so... I don't want to waste any of it because I need to... I want it to last as long as I can. Um, so I am going to tell you it has peptide, peptides, ceramides, and antioxidants in it. And I am going to tell you, a lot of times we buy things just on marketing alone. You know, when somebody's promising something, um, you know, a lot of times we don't really realize the ingredients, what they do, but we're just buying it based on the selling point. Um, and so I want to tell you what is in, or what each of these things do um, in this cream uh, at night while you're sleeping with it on. And so peptides are amino acids that are the building blocks of certain proteins needed by the skin, like collagen and elastin. And we all want collagen because collagen is what plumps our skin. And especially at 54, you know, as you get older, it starts to diminish. So we need to like, you know, use things to help um, that stimulate the collagen. Using a serum or moisturizer that contains peptides can lead to firmer, younger-looking skin and maybe even fewer breakouts. And I can tell you this, since I have been using this line, so I was getting hormonal breakouts. Uh, I dealt with cystic acne when I was in my teens and in my 20s, and I was on Accutane twice. So I know about acne. And I was getting hormonal acne, uh, again, at 54. Uh, and since I've been using these products and using them consistently and this is the only line I use right now and have been for almost a year. I have not had a breakout at all, knock on wood, <laughs> since then. Uh, ceramides are naturally found in skin's vulnerable outer layer and help skin retain moisture. When skin's cer ceramide levels are low, skin has difficulty retaining moisture. Ceramides are natural lipids and are a major component in surface skin structure. So this helps retain the moisture. And antioxidants protect the skin by reducing the counteracting free radical production. These free radicals, as a refresher, can assault your skin, damaging healthy skin cells and creating oxidative stress. Antioxidants protect your skin from this and help reduce pigmentation and fine lines and wrinkles. And so for me, that is what I'm looking to help my skin. I want to, I have um, darker spots. As we get older, we get them. And I have hyperpigmentation from being out in the sun. When I was younger, I don't do that anymore. I mean, I use my SPF. I wear hats. But so it helps with pigmentation and fine lines. And for me, that's what I am trying to fight. And uh, what I love about dermatology, you can go on their website and they have different, like, are you looking for products for acne? Are you looking for products for, you know, to reduce wrinkles? And they have all that. Plus um, their products, this came with this. It's how to apply dermatology products. And then it gives you in there like a graph of how to use them. And so I'm going to show you the products that I use, but we each, you know, it depends on what you want to do. And I just love them. And these are the things that I like to have. And if you're like me, so, um, and especially in this crazy chaotic time that we're going through. And what I've realized too is, you know, now that we wear, wear masks all the time that, you know, instead of, I barely wear 
any makeup. I don't usually wear like eyeshadow daily. I just wear the tinted moisturizer with some powder and just a little blush. And then, you know, you can't wear anything on your lips because you have the mask on. But it's actually taught me, I think we're learning too, that less is more now. Even, you know, when you're in your house for so long, we've all cleaned out our houses. And I found that even with my skin and my skincare that um, I really want to have good skin since I can't wear much makeup anyway because I'm always wearing a mask. And that is what I'm focusing on. And uh, what I do, and I will tell you, I, you know, you want to pick out like one or two products that you think will help you that you're looking to get better on your skin. Like I said, whether it's acne, whether it's anti-aging. And I'm going to tell you a secret what I do. So since I've been a single mom, since my daughter was one, she's 19 now and now she's in college and, um, you know, I'm the only one helping her. So I am very good with money. And what I do is I have an envelope and it has like beauty on it. And like every, you know, every once in a while, like if I have a five or a 10 or a 20, uh, I'll just put it in that envelope. So then I put that money aside so that when I want to buy something that that's been saved specifically for that purpose. And then I don't feel guilty using money to spend on beauty. And I want to feel good. What I've realized, too, is that, you know, it all comes from me. I don't need to feel good for other people. I want to feel good for myself. And I actually just got a new tattoo the other day. And just to remind me, it says, the eyes of others are prisons, their thoughts are cages. And, you know, I just find that we... Um, value ourselves usually based on what other people think of us and I really it needs to come from you I want to feel good about myself and then that shows to other people so anyway a little off topic of skincare but again it all comes back to this of taking care of myself and giving myself permission to take care of myself and starting with the foundation of skin because I've had cystic acne and I know what it's like to just try and cover it up with makeup instead of being trying to work on the foundation of it and as a makeup artist starting with a great foundation when somebody comes in with good skin I'm like that's great it's like being able to paint on a canvas you know that's really smooth and uh, it's just good to start with a good foundation. So anyway, I'm gonna quickly show you what I use. This does not mean that you have to use this. What I'm saying is, you know, pick one or two things to start with. And what I do too, once I buy something, I buy one thing and then I buy another thing so it's staggered. So they all like run out at different times. So I'm not buying everything all at once. But, so personally, I use the Needless Serum. I love that. And, um, the retinol complex 0.5%. And so I'm going to tell you a quick story about this is that um, I ran out of this last week and it kind of gave me a panic attack because uh, I love retinol. It helps rejuvenate the skin cells as we get older. And at 54, I don't rejuvenate them like I used to in my 20s and none of us do. And so this helps. And I got um, a little panicky. And so I called my dermatologist where I have bought it before. And uh, they were like, great, you can pick it up curbside. You know, now in these days, you just need to pay for it now. And then, you know, you drive up. And I'm like, okay. And she goes, well, that'll be $83. And I nearly choked. Uh, I think last time I bought it, it was like 45 total. And I thought, I'm like, no, because I wanted it, you know, how we want it now. And I'm like, no, I will just order it online. And this... Uh, in Dermatology, it's $42, or no, this is 40, and on Dermatology, this is $58, and, you know, they didn't tell me, but I have a code, I don't make any money off of it, I had asked them for it because my family had, first of all, they saw my skin, and <laughs> some of them had seen me on Instagram, I don't tell people that I do this, and um, they wanted to try it. So I wrote my hookup at Dermatology, who has sent me, you know, these two 
thanks to review and I asked if I could have a code so that they could try it and they were kind enough and it's Tracy 20 so it's T-R-A-C-E-Y I'll put it right here 20 um, and uh, yeah you can use that and get 20% off so this is $58 if you use the code and again I don't make anything off this I had asked them for it and they were kind enough to give it to me so I hope I'm not wrong by sharing this with everyone um, and so 20% off and that would bring it to I think 4640 I'd calculated out that's why I'm looking down there and uh, yeah so compared to 82 or 83 dollars I think she quoted me um, so yes ordering that and the advanced spot corrector so this is for like hyperpigmentation this has hydroquinone in it which um, can be drying but uh, that's why this at night so I'm going to tell you I use the retinol like two or three nights a week I kind of trade off or the hydroquinone two or three nights a week and then I take two nights off and I will use um, moisturizing so that my skin can recover and recoup and that's to what this um, where is it now the soothe and recovery cream I use that the mornings after two that I use either the hydroquinone or the retinol and then this you put on at night and it like soaks into your skin overnight and helps and my skin has not been dry and my makeup goes on really nice because a lot of other medical grade products that I've tried have dried my skin out I couldn't even get through uh, one set of this medical grade it was like uh, you know you had to use all these products at certain times my skin was literally like hanging off and after like four weeks of it I think you it was like six to eight weeks and then you'd finally start to get to that point but I couldn't do it because uh, at the time I was modeling and I had to be on camera and I couldn't be there with skin hanging off so what I love about dermatology too nothing is like the retinol has vitamins in it I think it's vitamin C and E that's in this but it feels really silky and your skin doesn't ever feel overly dry so um, and then I use the tinted moisturizer especially wearing the mask now I find that I don't want makeup all over my mask and again I'm working on the foundation instead of having to cover things up I'm working on making things look amazing so I use that uh, the age reversal neck cream uh, soothe and recovery cream broad spectrum 45 I had basal cell cancer on my face that I had to had taken out uh, the tinted moisturizer with SPF 45, the advanced dark skin corrector that has the hydroquinone, the retinol, the needle serum, and the peptide night cream. So those are the things that I use. You don't have to use all those. Again, we're all different. You can go on there and just pick one or two things that you think will help you and then maybe expand throughout that. But I just wanted to let you know that's my that's what my bathroom looks like they're all lined up on the side of my wall and every night or every morning I pick out what I'm using and then now I've been using this at night at least two nights a week um, sometimes three and it has been amazing so again at 54 just trying to do whatever I can to help age gracefully okay well I hope that helped and yeah if you have any questions, you can leave them below. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.